Hey y'all, this is Shadell from My Thrifter Closet, back with another video. As you can see from the title, I am back with yet another Shea Moisture product review. Shea Moisture has been pumping out the products. I think they need to pump their brakes, <laughs> but I mean, it's their company. They can do what they want. Today, I'll be talking about the new Omega 369 Rescue and Repair products. Um, this is what they look like. It's kind of this gray label, has great packaging. Um, I'm just going to jump right in. I don't want this video to be too long. I'm going to first start off with the clarifying shampoo with quinoa and rose of Jericho extracts. It's supposed to deep clean and nourish your hair. So this product definitely is very deep cleaning. It's a clarifying conditioner, a clarifying shampoo. If you've been on my channel for more than a day, you will know that I don't really bang with shampoo. Um, but this was a pretty good shampoo, not enough for me to repurchase it, not enough for me not to return it, because to be honest, after this video, I'm going to return this product. It was a good shampoo, but I personally don't really like my hair to feel super clarified, but if you are someone that likes clarifying shampoos, you like your hair to be very cleansed, then this is awesome because it doesn't necessarily strip your hair too much like I've used regular shampoos that strip my hair more than this does so this is actually a nice shampoo I just have way too many shampoos in my stash to warrant keeping this around like it's not good enough for me to have to keep it let's talk about the ingredients the first five ingredients are water sodium laurel methyl isotic Isitinate, which is the cleanser, um, cocoa metapropyl biotin, which is also a cleanser, fragrance, which is essential oil, and glycerin. So those are the first five ingredients. Let me show you the texture of this product. This is what it looks like. It's actually a very loose consistency. Um, that's what it looks like, very loose. This is the consistency of the product, not too shabby. Now let's talk about the smell. <laughs> hey! It smells like bush. No, I'm just kidding. If you don't know that reference, definitely check out my video on the Shea Moisture Low Porosity and High Porosity products right here. Um, no, it actually smells nice. It smells like soap. It smells like baby powder. It has a very pleasant smell. I actually like the smell. Um, the smell actually doesn't linger. Yeah, the smell doesn't linger, but it is a nice scent. So that's the shampoo, definitely recommended. I think these products are about $10.99, and you can only find them at, at Ulta right now, Ulta online, or Ulta in your local, you know, nearest you, basically. Um, I'll leave the links below to where you can purchase these, but that's the shampoo. Now let's move on to the co-wash. So this is their co-wash. It's supposed to gently cleanse and condition damaged and distressed hair. So this line is specifically for damaged hair. For those of you who don't know, I do have heat damaged hair. So this product really is geared to people like me with natural hair that's damaged, women with relaxers, women that just have damaged hair in general. This is just a really good line for that. Um, this has, this is supposed to be a low lather, sulfate free conditioning cleanser. This product is very low lather, um, not very much of a lather, very, very soft lather. Um, the first five ingredients are water, cocoa metapropyl biotin, which is the cleanser, saprilic triglycerides, um, shea butter, and coconut oil. So if you are sensitive to coconut oil or shea butter, this may not be for you. Y'all know, if you've been on my channel, again, for more than a week, that I love co-washing. I'm a co-wash girl. I, es I basically exclusively co-wash. Every now and then, I'll shampoo and clarify. But this is the consistency right here. Very lightweight consistency. Um, yeah, very lightweight. It does remind me of the high porosity co-wash in terms of the consistency. Um, but it has a good consistency. It's not too thick. It's not too thin. All of these products smell the same. It smells like that, um, you know, baby powder soap, 
scent, just a really nice scent. It's really hard for me to specifically nail the scent, but it's a nice scent. This collage for me was too stripping. If you've ever tried the As I Am collage or even the Cantu collage, you know those collages are a lot, um, a lot stronger and I guess harsher on your hair, for lack of a better word, than probably like your VO5 clarifying conditioner or your Eden Body Works. Yeah, this leaves your hair a lot more stripped. It even leaves my hair more stripped than the As I Am co-wash. The As I Am co-wash is probably my most cleansing co-wash that I love. This is a step above that and I don't like that. For me, this gives me more of a shampoo feeling versus a co-wash feeling, and I don't re I don't like that. I personally just don't like that feeling. So for me, this wouldn't be something that I would repurchase. I'm actually going to return this, actually, with the shampoo. So this was, it wasn't a miss for me. If you like co-washes that actually really, really, really cleanse your hair, then this is something you should definitely pick up. But for me, Charade of Soul, My Thrifty Closet, Chadelle, this ain't it. It's just not it for me. Um, but it's honestly not a bad product. It's just not something I would run out and buy. And I think this is also ten ninety nine. So let's talk about my favorite product from this product line and a product that I will use in the future, a product that may become a staple, I'm not sure, but definitely an honorable mention, probably one of my favorite Shea Moisture Deep Conditioners, and I've tried a lot of them, is the um, hair mask with quinoa, also with quinoa and rose of Jericho extracts. Um, the first five ingredients in this product are water, cetera alcohol, coconut oil, glycerin, and shea butter. So again, if you're not, if you're sensitive to shea butter and coconut oil, shea moisture is probably just not for you because a lot of their products contain shea, bu shea butter and coconut oil. Um, this product is almost gone and I would have used it up had I not had to do the review. Like, there's really just not that much left. Um, I don't even have a full use. I have enough for maybe a few sections. So very thick consistency. It reminds me in some ways of the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey Mask. Um, if you've tried that, then you will know that that's a very thick consistency as well. Um, this is just a really good product. It smells just like that baby powder soap smell. But this product going on doesn't wow me because of the thickness and because I have low porosity hair it takes a while for that moisture to really seep into my hair but after sitting on under my hooded dryer for 30 minutes um, it's, it's amazing when I rinse my hair I have to keep rinsing because I'm convinced it's not all rinsed out that's how soft my hair feels this is probably one of the best on the ground deep conditioners ever I would recommend this time and time again definitely check the link below and pick one up um, uh, Ulta Online maybe sold out of these products, but of course they're going to refresh their website, so check back if it's sold out, but or check your local Ulta. This is a bomb. This is amazing. Like, for real, for real, for real. Like, it took me a lot not to use this up. Um, I'm going to be doing a battle of the Shea Moisture Deep Conditioners, and I'm going to save this little bit for that video, but this is amazing. When Ulta has buy one, get one free or 50% off, I will pick up another one or two. So this is awesome for sure. So the last product that I'm going to review is the Omega 369, well duh, their Curl Defining Smoothie. Um, this product smells like the other products. Let me talk about the ingredients. It has water. Glycerin is a second ingredient, which I love, but I know some people are iffy about that. Um, shea butter, glycerol, stearate, and cetrimonium chloride. Um, these products, by the way, have Sasha Inchi Seed Oil, Quinoa, and Rose of Jericho. Sasha's Inchi Seed Oil is supposed to be rich in moisturizing omega-369 and antioxidant vitamins E, A and E, that help revives, revive damaged hair. Quinoa, which is uh, essential amino acids that coat the hair shaft to protect naturally. And Rose of Jericho, which is draws in and helps hold essential moisture so just wanted to put that out there um let's talk about the consistency the consistency and i've used a lot and i'll tell you why in a bit you definitely don't need to use that much it has a very lightweight consistency definitely very different from the original shea moisture coconut and hibiscus smoothie it's like day and night to be honest the consistency is different the hold is different um 
I can do a battle of the smoothies video if you're interested in it. Definitely let me know by giving this video a what? Thumbs up and let me know because I can do that video. And I actually got that idea from one of my curl friends. Her name is Jazzy Curls or Jazzy curlness or something i'll definitely link her right here check out her check check out her video she does she does a lot of videos on shea moisture and she gave me the idea to do the smoothie because i think she either did a video or will do a video so check her out um so yeah um this product for me is good it is is actually what my hands a little bad this product is actually bomb to me um it gives me the type of hole that i personally like on my natural hair it's actually in my hair right now and it gives me the hole that i like i like to have big hair i like to have definition but also keeping it big like if you a person that wants your hair to be super super defined then you probably need to use this product on wet hair but for me I use it on dry hair and I get good different definition like to me this is good definition for someone that only does six braids this is the look that I go for and as well as that it doesn't compromise the softness of my hair like my hair still feels good it still has movement it's just a really a really good product um, I use a lot of this product because the first time I used it I used it on by itself just with a um an, an oil my castor oil so i put it on i put it on like i did a, i was doing a wash and go for real i put on way too much product and that's how i used so much of it so you really don't need a lot of this if you do use a lot of this you're going to if there's a glare <laughs> if you if you follow me on periscope you know what i'm referring to if, if not definitely follow me on periscope um, but you don't need a lot. I use it on the first, the first time I used it, I used too much and my hair was flaky. It wasn't like crazy flaky where it was disgusting, but it had some flakes and I could visually see it. But the second day they're mostly gone. Um, but you don't want to use a lot of it. You want to be very light handed with it. You don't need this. You don't need a lot with this. What I like this about this versus the Shea Moisture um, Coconut and Hibiscus is that this actually gives you hold. The Coconut and Hibiscus does not personally give me any holds, while this actually gives me hold. Um, and my hair feels soft, but I also have definition where the smoothie only gives me moisture. So in terms of that versus this, just a quick review, I like this. I would repurchase this. This gives me a nice style. I like it. I will definitely pick it up again. It's just a good product. So these two are my favorite products from this line. Just two amazing Shea Moisture products. If Shea Moisture wants to keep bringing out lines, then they need to bring out lines like these. Um... Or products like these within the lines because this was just really good so that's it my lighting is probably going up and down because the Sun is going up and down and that's why I hate filming in the morning but hey you got to do what you got to do right when I get this video out so hope this video was helpful let me know by giving it a thumbs up let me know if you're enjoying my shade moisture reviews um, and I may bring some more so thank you guys so much for watching I love you so much stay blessed until next time peace bye y'all Come over a little closer I wanna tell you something